Welcome to the deep dive. We're Whoa. going back in time today. Um, back to the 1980s. Oh, wow. To corporate America for a look at how training videos were made back then. And our source material is, uh, get this, internal documents and photos from Wix Lumber. Really? Talk about a blast from the past. I bet. We're going to uncover how this team approached video production in its early days. And we'll even get some glimpses into their team dynamics. Wow, this is going to be interesting. Oh, it is. And the technology they used, you know, all that fun stuff. Yeah, I'm curious about that. Like, what kind of equipment were they using back then? Right. Well, we actually have some clues in the documents. For example, one document we have is called Instructions for Completion of Weekly and Monthly Man Hour Reports. And um, let me tell you, mm -hmm. talk about meticulous time tracking. I bet they didn't have all the fancy software we have today. No, not at all. I mean, this thing even has a key for deciphering codes for different tasks. Success for six hours of scripting. 2G for two hours on graphics. You yeah. can tell they really, really took budgeting and accountability seriously. Oh, absolutely. That's something that definitely still resonates today. You know, right. even with all the technology we have now, making the most of your time and resources is crucial in video production. Time is money. Absolutely. And it's fascinating to see how they approached like the entire process. You know, this document actually outlines all the different phases. Right. They've got program development, production and post-production. It's all there. Wow. So they really thought of everything. They really did, from brainstorming to scripting, finding talent, securing locations, editing, and then, of course, distributing the final product. I mean, yeah. it was uh, a full-fledged operation. That's amazing. Sounds a lot more involved than just pointing a camera and shooting. Oh, definitely. And speaking of um, development, there's even a skills development category. Oh, interesting. So they were focused on learning even within the training department. Exactly. Training the trainers. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So there's a real commitment to continuous improvement at every level. Yeah, it really does. Now, we also have these video production document templates. Uh -huh. And let me tell you, they're a gold mine. Oh, I bet. What kind of stuff is in there? They lay out every detail imaginable from like client contact information to shot sheets and even sections for sets and props. The level of planning is incredible. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. It sounds like they really anticipated potential challenges and had, you know, contingencies in place. Oh, absolutely. And speaking of getting it right, they emphasized the importance of storyboards. I mean, this was before sophisticated editing software was available, right? So the storyboard was essential. Right. It was their way of visualizing and planning the whole video shot by shot. Exactly. It's amazing to see how they used these visual aids to map out the entire production. Talk about attention to detail. Wow. They were really dedicated to getting it right. They were. But what really struck me um, was the collaborative nature of the work. You know, these documents weren't just completed by one person. Oh, interesting. They have spaces for multiple signatures, so clearly teamwork was key. Yeah, that makes sense. Especially for something as complex as video production. Exactly. And speaking of the team, we have this fantastic team photo. You do? It shows the whole training services team huddled around a monitor. Cool. Reviewing a take. You can just feel the camaraderie. Like, what do you think you're saying? I know, right? It's like you can almost hear them cracking jokes and giving each other feedback. And um, from the photo, we know that Steve was the project manager for this shoot. John was the camera operator. And Tom was the on-screen talent. So they had designated roles. They did, but get this, the caption mentions they actually rotated project management roles. What? Really, <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's amazing. It shows a lot of trust and respect within the team. It does, and it also tells us they were all multi-talented and you know, willing to wear different hats. Yeah, that kind of versatility is so valuable, especially in a field like video production where things are constantly evolving. Right, and speaking of evolving, you know, we have to remember this is 1980. In Saginaw, Michigan. Wow, that's a different world. Where Wix Slimber was headquartered. Yeah. Pre-internet, pre-smartphone, pre-digital everything. Oh, really? Video production was a completely different ballgame back then. I bet. It was much more hands-on and um, meticulous. Absolutely. You can really see that reflected in these documents. Like that. Even just the fact that everything is handwritten. Yeah, it gives it that historical feel. It really does. It's like you can just feel the history. It's yeah. like a... 
a time machine. It's like holding a piece of the past in your hands. Right. And it makes you wonder what kind of equipment they were using, too. I mean, we're talking bulky cameras. Yeah, those old school ones. Heavy tripods, maybe even like a separate recording deck. It must have been a logistical challenge, especially compared to the, you know, compact, lightweight equipment we have today. Oh. oh, absolutely. I can't even imagine trying to shoot on location with all that heavy gear. Right. And yet they pulled it off. They did. They were dedicated. Producing these training videos for Wix Lumber employees. So before we move on, I have a question for you. Okay. Knowing how much effort went into these videos, mm. what do you think their impact might have been, like on the employees in the company? It's mm. a good question. Well, you know, while we don't have specific data on their effectiveness, we can look at the bigger picture. I mean, Wix Lumber's commitment to training, especially using this cutting edge technology at the time, yeah. it likely fostered a culture of learning and development. I'd say that's a pretty valuable legacy. I agree. And it really speaks to how seriously they took investing in their employees. Right. Which is something that is still so important today. But let's hold that thought for a moment. Okay. We're going to dive deeper into the potential impact of these videos in the next part of our um, deep dive. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. Welcome back to our deep dive into the world of 1980s corporate training video production at Wix Lumber. You know, we left off talking about the impact those videos might have had. Um, mm. It's fascinating to think about, right? Like all that effort, all those hours they put into creating these videos, especially, you know, oh, yeah. back then when things were so much more um, analog, you know? Absolutely. I mean, we've touched on the planning, the tech, but let's go back to those video production templates for a second. Okay. They really highlight just how comprehensive yeah. Wix Lumber's approach to training was. You're right. Like, those templates are more than just forms. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, um, they reveal this deep understanding of how to create effective learning experiences. Right. They really did. They started by identifying the client's needs. Right. And then they crafted this really careful script that addressed those needs in in a way that was clear and engaging. And don't forget the storyboards. Yeah. They weren't just outlining visuals. Right. It was like they were mapping out a narrative. Exactly. Each shot was serving a purpose in conveying the message and guiding the viewer's understanding. It's like they were creating mini movies. Yeah. Complete with storylines and characters. I love that. Mini movies. And, you know, yeah. while the special effects might not have been Hollywood level, you can still see that dedication. Oh, totally. To making the content in engaging. Yeah. And memorable. Yes. That level of effort, I mean, it really shows how seriously they took training. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just a nice to have. Right. They understood that investing in their employees' development yeah. was crucial for the company's success. Which makes sense. Oh, totally. You know, well-trained employees, they're more productive. Absolutely. More efficient. Right. And they're more likely to stay with the company, too. Exactly. It's mm -hmm. a win-win. And by using video as a training tool, yeah. Wix Lumber was embracing this cutting edge medium, this new thing yeah. that could reach a wider audience and ensure consistent training across multiple locations. It's like um, the way we use online learning platforms today, right? Exactly. Right. Accessibility, engagement, it's all connected. Totally. And it brings us back to those impacts yeah. we were talking about before the break. We may not have the hard data, but it's safe to assume these videos played a role in creating the strong learning culture at Wix Lumber. Yeah. I can only imagine the excitement those employees must have felt, you know, mm -hmm. gathering to watch these professionally produced training videos. Oh, yeah. It was probably a major upgrade from, like, the traditional training methods. Totally. And who knows, maybe those videos even sparked an interest in video production for some employees. Oh, that's a great point. Maybe there's a whole generation of video producers out there who got their... Start watching Wick Lumber training videos. Right. I mean, wouldn't that be something? I know. You never know how these things influence people's paths. But even if that's not the case, yeah. it's safe to say those videos made a positive impact oh, def on both the company and its employees. They really show like a dedication to investing in people, yeah. you know? Yes. And using these creative approaches to training, which are still so relevant today. Absolutely. The technology might have changed, mm -hmm. but those core values, you know, yeah. effective communication, good content, mm -hmm. commitment to your team. I mean, those are timeless. Okay. So we've explored the process, the tech, the impact, um, but what about the people? Ooh, yes. The people behind the scenes. Yeah. What can we learn about the team that made it all happen? Let's turn our attention to Steve, John, and Tom, 
our dynamic trio who, remember, rotated those project management roles. Yes. Even though we don't have a ton of personal details, we can still find some insights. Yeah, we know Steve was project manager for the shoot in that photo. Yeah. And John handled the camera and Tom was the talent. But it's that detail about them rotating roles I know. that really stands out. It speaks volumes, doesn't it? It does. Flexibility, cross-training, it suggests a real high level of trust and respect within the team. I agree. Plus, it tells us that they were all multi-talented. Yeah. Willing to pitch in wherever needed. Yeah, that's a valuable trait, especially in a field like video production where things are always changing. Oh, absolutely. Constantly mm-hmm. evolving. Mm-hmm. And, you know, while we may not know a ton about their personalities right. or their backgrounds, you know, yeah. we can get a sense of them as a team. Yeah. Dedicated, skilled, collaborative. It's remarkable how these documents can, you know, even without giving us a ton of personal details, they can still transport us back to that time. It really is. History is more than just dates and facts. You know what I mean? Right. It's about people. Yeah. And their work. Uh. Understanding their world, seeing the connections to our own. Well said. Okay, folks, we're going to take a quick pause. When we come back for part three, we'll wrap up our deep dive with some final thoughts on these archival treasures. And we're back for the final part of our deep dive into the world of 1980s corporate training video production at Wix Lumber. It's been quite a journey. It has. From those time tracking codes to the team dynamics, Mm. it's amazing what we've uncovered. I know. And uh, it's really highlighted how, you know, history comes alive through these little details. Absolutely. We've gone from deciphering codes to, like, almost seeing the team huddled around that bulky video camera. Right. It's not just about the technology either. It's a glimpse into a whole culture. You're right. It's like stepping back in time to when video was this, like... Brand new, yeah. exciting tool that companies were eager to use. It's true. It's amazing how much effort they put into those training videos. Oh, I know, right? Making them engaging uh-huh. and effective. And you know what's really fascinating to me? <laughs> what's that? Is how much of their approach still resonates today. Oh. I mean, sure, the technology yeah. is totally different. Completely different. But those core principles of communication storytelling. Uh-huh. Those haven't changed. Right. You know, whether it's a VHS tape or a YouTube video. Yeah. Understanding your audience. Yeah. Delivering information in a way that connects. Yeah. That's still key. Totally. It's a good reminder that those fundamentals, they're timeless. They are. Like those video production templates. Yeah. They're almost like a blueprint for anyone creating educational content today. It's true. Planning, clarity, creativity. You know, it was all there. They knew what they were doing. They did. And, you know, we might chuckle at the handwritten forms now right. and those bulky cameras. I know. But their dedication. Yes. Their attention to detail. Uh-huh. Those are values that never go out of style. That's so true. You know, it's easy to get um, caught up in the latest, you know, software, gadgets. Oh, for sure. But at the end of the day... It's the human element that really makes training effective. Uh, that passion, yes. that creativity, <laughs> that commitment to, you know, empowering others. Yeah. That's what shines through in these documents. And that brings us to why this whole deep dive is so valuable, I think. Okay. You know, we've explored the past, but we've also found lessons for today and tomorrow. Oh, right. It's all connected. Well, it is. So as we wrap up this journey back in time. Okay. I want to leave our listeners with something to think about. Right. You know, in today's world, we're bombarded with information right now. So how can we channel that same spirit of the Wix lumber team Uh and create training that is not just informative, but truly engaging, impactful, memorable? That's the challenge, isn't it? To cut through the noise and really make content that resonates, that educates, that inspires. Exactly. Maybe by drawing inspiration from the past, we can unlock some new possibilities for the future of training. I think so. Well, thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Yes. Thanks, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this journey as much as we did. It's been a blast. And until next time, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep those creative juices flowing. Absolutely. See you next time. 